everyone, welcome to day one of my fourth seven day self portrait challenge. That took a lot of practice. <laughs> I've done that about four times. Yeah, today is going to be obviously day one, which is the theme red. So I've been inspired by a few artists for today's picture. I obviously went through every single colour of the week and I was like, right, what can I do for each colour? You know, what represents each colour? And I'm, I'm sort of like thinking about these things. And it made me think about this artist called Kevin B. Parry who is an animator. Um, I followed him on Instagram recently and he creates amazing stop motion videos of slicing through fruit and veg. And there was one that I absolutely loved and it was the red pepper. So I'll show you it quickly. I've got it on my phone here. I saw this and I was like, I love that. And obviously it's red and it goes with today's theme. So I was thinking, what can I do with a pepper, you know, make it interesting and also do it in my style. I have been following a girl called Jenny Kayser. I'm not sure if she'll know that I'm going to be mentioning her in this video, but um, she's called Whimsical View on Instagram and she creates amazing miniature images of her in flowers and different fruits, veg, and I loved it and I was like, maybe I could take that as inspiration, take Kevin's work as inspiration and merge it together and create my own picture from that and I will link them both below as well so you can go have a look at her work but I realised this morning that I forgot to get peppers over the weekend so I'm gonna have to head over to Sainsbury's now and go and buy some peppers so me and Jack are probably gonna be having red pepper soup for the rest of the week <laughs> it is so so dark outside today actually it's really really foggy which would have made a really great photo but not for today's image because I'm staying inside, but hopefully it'll get a bit lighter so that I can use some more natural light. Otherwise, I might have to shoot it outside on a table, but we shall see. Right, so I've been to Sainsbury's and I've bought so many red peppers. Here's my little array of fruit and veg. I tried to pick the best looking ones. These aren't the most amazing peppers. They're quite dark and you can see there's like a bit of imperfection but what I can do is edit that in Photoshop after. I also bought some raspberries just in case I fancy like including these and some strawberries but I love these anyway so I'll eat them anyway. And I bought some Ruby Jewel Plum Tomatoes because I really like the stalk. I think I'm going to stick with the pepper idea first and then if that doesn't work or if I'm feeling a bit like I want to do some more, I'll use these. Let's put this to one side. Also, if you didn't watch my planning video, you might have not seen that I am using the Sony this week, so I'm excited. This is going to be a challenge because I've not used it for a self-portrait yet. So I shot the peppers and now it's time to shoot the picture of me. I think I know how I'm going to do it. I've got an idea now that I've shot the peppers because I can see the shape of the pepper. But I've not shot a self-portrait on this camera before so I need to figure out how to connect it, sort it. It says here scan QR code of the camera. Menu and control with smartphone connection and then it's gonna bring up a QR code and then what I'm gonna do is just scan it quick. Join. 
plus on this app you can actually change the settings which is amazing but the only bad thing which is really really annoying is that you cannot press on the screen to focus so what I've done with the Sony is I've actually set it to continuous so that hopefully it like focuses on me and knows because I'm like the only thing in the, in the foreground so it's on aperture 2.2, 160 shutter speed and ISO 400 which is the same as what I shot the peppers at so I'm going to keep the same settings just for continuity and it's going to be easier to edit in Photoshop that way. So let's get cracking. I think what I'm going to do is going to stay in this outfit then I'm going to change this headband and the trousers to red when I'm editing. So let's get in. Initial thoughts on taking a self portrait with this camera is it's fast. I've literally shot about three photos of myself and I think I've got one. And it was so easy, changed the camera settings on my phone so I didn't have to run back and forth to the camera. It actually focused which is pretty good without me having to like figure it out or tap it or anything. Obviously I've got the continuous focus on so it actually just focused on my face anyway. So yeah I'm really happy actually, I'm quite happy with the way that the camera worked. That was so simple. I feel like I'm a bit blown away by it actually. I'm like, yes. Anyway, I'm gonna open it up in Photoshop and see what I can do with it now because if it doesn't work, I can always reshoot it. So let's go. day two of seven days of holly and today's gonna be orange i'm excited but also a bit scared because i have um a sort of idea but i've been going over it and 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 over it this morning in my head and i even was like dreaming about it or like daydreaming in between sleep this morning and i just feel like i've got sort of like 10 ideas in my head that I really want to do but also I'm not 100% sure which one to focus on so I'm going to try and shoot about maybe four concepts they're all going to be pretty similar um, and if you didn't watch my planning video basically today's video is going to be um, orange which is goldfish day <laughs> a good scene here. Try and edit that out. jumper on and my yellow hair tie to celebrate the day. It makes me feel quite happy actually. As you can see over here I've got my outfit ready. I'm going to be using this bodice today. I've used this before in a few images. You've probably seen them on my Instagram, YouTube etc and I've also done a video of how I made this so I'll leave them linked below but today I'm going to be shooting something that's going to be pretty bright, pretty packed Full of just yellowness and sunflowers. This took me quite a while to make and I really want to make use of it again so today it's the perfect day as it's yellow. This was my drawing from my ideas book um, as you can see I'll be stood in the middle and then I'm going to replace the background with all the sunflowers. Clearly this is my idea of sunflowers but uh, there you go. So I was thinking of maybe doing my whole body but then I also was thinking I'm not sure where my feet will be going so I was going to cut it off sort of like mid leg maybe above the knees i want a really powerful stance so i was going to be quite like hands on hips straightforward hopefully create like a really powerful strong image so that's my thought process at the moment it could change as we go through through this i've been really enjoying um editing and like spending a lot more time on the editing process uh, rather than these videos because obviously i'm posting 
these videos after the project but it's been really nice to not have that like pressure of editing a video every day but also focusing more on the actual creating process and I feel like it's paying off a lot more because I'm not rushing through it although I know that is part of the challenge or was part of the challenge but I feel like this is much more manageable for my mental health and exhaustion levels so I'm happy with that <laughs> project and today's day green. I had an idea for this project or for day four and I wanted to include all my plants in an image because I'm a big plant mum. I'm not a very good plant mum but I've got a lot and me and Jack take care of them <laughs> uh, but we've lost a few over the years specifically the past three months but we're trying, we're learning we're getting to know what's what about plant keeping. I had this idea that I was going to be basically surrounded by all my plants, but I'm just feeling like it's not a strong enough idea for what I want, perching on my tripod here. So I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. I've got a few ideas, but I'm just feeling like I need to just shoot and see where it goes and see where it takes me. Sometimes I go into a project or image not really knowing what's going to come out of it. Sometimes I go into an image knowing exactly what I want out of it. I keep like batting between a few ideas. I'm like, yeah, 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 that'll do. That'll, that's the idea that I want to do. And then I'm like, no, not working. So I'm feeling a little bit weird. Well, what I'm going to start with is shooting the first idea. Then if I don't like the way it's shot, I can always reshoot and do another image. But I think the first idea is going to take a lot to edit. So hopefully I get it right the first time but you never really know. Uh, but firstly, I need to get a leaf out of my garden. So I have, well, I don't have a garden. It's definitely not a garden. It's a little um, area that we've created on our driveway because we don't actually have a garden in this house, which is kind of odd. We don't have a back door either. So we created a little sort of area where we could keep plants and sit down in the summer and stuff. It needs a little bit of work, but it, it's it'll do for now. But we've got a little planter and Jack's mum gave us a plant and I can't remember what the plant is actually called but it's got a really really nice leaf. It's my first idea is me sat on a either a chair, a stool or something that's going to raise me up a little bit. Um, I might actually sit on like a box or something. I've got this orange dress on. Um, you've probably seen this in my Instagram controls myself portrait um, image. Green and sort of red go together. I know it's orange but I'm going to make it a little bit more red in Photoshop. But maybe not. I quite like the orange. I think orange and green goes nice. Like little leaves sort of like flying around me in like a um, sort of a circle. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I think what I'll do is just start and then see where it takes me. This is me not really knowing what's going on. I'm feeling a little bit insecure today. I don't know why, but I just feel like, whew, like I need to have a breather. Um, so today I'm just going to take it a bit more easy with the shoe and not put so much pressure on myself like I did yesterday. So that is my thoughts and feelings. Uh, I kind of don't want to be in this one. Like I really, like I don't want my face in it. Um, but I'm feeling like I need to shoot me. But yeah, anyway. So the chair that I was actually originally going to use for the shoot was this one. Um, I actually got it from a car boot on Sunday. But it's a pretty old chair the seat is absolutely disgusting so i need to cover that i think i'm gonna i don't know what to do with it i quite like it as it is i think i don't know if it needs like a bit of a sanding and paint job but i'm not sure but this is disgusting as you can see so i'm gonna do that up but anyway 
the reason why I came downstairs was because I need to go outside and get a leaf out of my garden area. got the leaves I felt really bad picking them off but it'll, it'll be all right it'll be all right I'll stick them back on I have actually spent the whole of this week inside me and Jack went for a walk last night just so that I could get out of the house so we're actually going to this place called Hayes Den tonight for a run because I need to get out of the house and like clear my head because I just feel like I've just been in t inside my head for the past four days uh, which is probably why I'm feeling a little bit like fragile but it should be alright. Keep on going. <laughs> with it actually I've shot this as well which is look how nice these perfectly green leaves are and um, I've taken some photos of those as well so that I can photoshop them in in fact I'm going to do a few more but I'm just going to put the aperture up so I get all the details <laughs> Today's theme is blue, which my lips look a bit blue, not sure why. It's actually crazy, all this week I've just been seeing the colour of each day. So when I went out on Monday I saw like red everywhere and then I didn't actually go out on, on uh, Tuesday. <laughs> but on Wednesday uh, we went for a walk and I wore like a yellow jumper and we were literally spotting yellow everywhere. Today it is blue and it is blue skies, which is amazing. <laughs> What a coincidence. It's actually a really nice day today. But again, I'm gonna be staying indoors because I'm really enjoying creating inside at the moment. Um, just using like simple techniques and, you know, backgrounds and just like keeping it, keeping it simple, but also, you know, when I've been opening it up into Photoshop, I just feel like I can go wild with it. Um, whereas if I went to a location, I'd feel like the need to actually like use the location. I don't know. I just feel like I've just been really enjoying creating in like the studio settings. So that's what I'm gonna do today. But I actually, again, don't really know what I'm doing. Um, but yesterday I proper enjoyed just sitting down and just going into Photoshop and just experimenting. And I feel like that's what I need because yesterday's image came out really well. Although I didn't really have a, you know, like clue of what it was gonna look like at the end. I felt like it came out really well, so I feel like I need to trust my intuition when it comes to editing in Photoshop. I'm just going to go with it and see what I can create, so that's what I'm going to do. today and I drew this little drawing I'll show you of me with a dinosaur and stars around it and I was gonna make the dinosaur purple and I was like yeah maybe I should shoot it outdoors but it's freezing outside and it's actually just been snowing a little bit like hailing snowing weird weird weather for April as well basically I really want to do this idea but it also correlates with an idea that I saw online so I follow an illustrator on Instagram and YouTube called Sean Dianthes, I think it is, but her name is Furry Little Peach if you want to search her, I'll leave her links below. I followed her for a while now, I'm so inspired by her work, I mean obviously we're in different mediums but I'm just so inspired by her ethic and just the style of her work, I absolutely love the way that she uses colour and 
design and it's so so cool so i wanted to maybe do her little draw in your style challenge so sean actually put up a picture of a dinosaur with a girl and they're roasting i think it's it looks like an apple but i'm i'm thinking that it's marshmallow on a fire she asked if um for everyone on instagram or whoever to draw this in your style well i want to photograph this in my style and create an edit surrounded by this idea. So my original idea was to do a dinosaur and obviously this is a dinosaur so I want to correlate the ideas and just like create this in my style. If you remember I did the home sense challenge with Jo a few months ago and I bought this little dinosaur. I really want to use it again today so I'm going to use this little dinosaur to photograph with. I've got on an outfit that sort of matches the style of the girl on the image and I'm going to create something out of this. Now today's obviously purple so I'm going to change into purple. I'm also going to get rid of the little balloon thing there because obviously I don't want it to actually look like a balloon. Um, but I'm going to jazz him up a bit and create a little scene of me with the dinosaur. I might put in some fire somewhere but I just wanted to see what I can do with Photoshop to actually create a little scene of this. So I've got my stripy top on and I've also got on my wellies because in the picture the girl has got some wellies on. I've got my camera set up and I'm just going to shoot some pictures. I also need a backpack so I'm going to get my backpack out which is this one. But it needs stuffing because it's a little bit, bit flat. So I'm going to just stuff it with a few, maybe I could get a pillow or something and actually put it in. Some clothes into the bag so now it's looking a bit more like it's got stuff in it. You can see it's going to go on my back. And I think I might change this to a different colour. Um, I might change it to like yellow and green. green maybe yellow. Uh, but it depends how it looks. But this is me with my little dinosaur. <laughs> Let's get cracking. photographed the dinosaur me and part of the stick so that I can hopefully create a little fire. I've got the memory card and I'm gonna take it into Photoshop. Mm -hmm. 